First of all, um, I want to congratulate SIU uh, Edwardsville for uh, a job well done. They uh, they played a spectacular game, and uh, I feel like they deserve to win tonight. Um, we we. Uh, we, we, we always set target goals every game from a defensive standpoint. And uh, we reach most of those goals. And, and oftentimes, when we reach those goals, we usually win the ball game. Um, but tonight was not the case. Um, I thought we lost the game tonight on the offensive end. Uh, didn't shoot the ball very well. And that's been our forte all year. That's how we squeak some out. That's how we uh, competed with Missouri. That's how we beat Southern Illinois Carbondale. But, not to mention uh, not just our shots, but I feel like our execution wasn't very good down the stretch. You know, there were times when we needed uh, a basket and we settled for threes or, or a quick shot. Uh, but those guys took us out of our offense uh, with the way they defended the ball screen. That's been our specialty all year and, and is our ball screen offense. And uh, they did a great job of um, icing the ball screen to forcing us out of our comfort zone. Uh, we went to zone. Uh, a couple of times, especially in the first half. Uh, in fact, at half times out of the seven times we ran our zone, uh, we, we, we got four stops. Second half, they figured us out and started overloading the side and um, got open shots. But we, we answered, you know, we answered for the most part. But um, again, I think our defense was, it was average. It was good enough to win the ball game for us. Uh, it, it bore down to us just making shots and, and getting quality shots on the offensive end. Um, you know, looking at the stat sheet, you know, um, there's a huge discrepancy at the free throw line. We, we go 8 of 12. Um, they go 22 of 35. Um, we got to get downhill more. You know, we, we got to do a better job of attacking um, uh, the opposition, and we wasn't very great at that tonight. No, no. Um, and we came together this summer after the announcement. I, I thought we had the pieces together uh, to win OVC regular, champ regular season championship. After we played Missouri, I felt even better about it. And as the season went along, you know, you, you, you start thinking back. We lose to Western Illinois and Chicago State. And then we bounce back and beat Southern Illinois after they just beat Oklahoma. Um, Indiana State, I think, were undefeated at the time. And so our confidence uh, came back. But then once we got in the league play, I always, I've been doing this 22 years. I, I know once you get in league play, it's a whole different ball game because everybody does a great job of scouting. Um, but our end goal was to win a regular season championship and then an OVC uh, conference tournament. And we fell short. Um, am I proud of my guys? Absolutely. Um, these guys came to work um, a lot, pretty much every day. A um, lot of ups and downs. Uh, we got two great guys on, on my right and left that poured their heart and soul into this program every single day. And, and no one's in the gym more than these two. Um, you look at the, the the older guy to my left here, Jacob Polakovich, and, and what he's done in this league this year, setting the world on fire with his rebounding. It was, I think, tied for first place in the country in rebounding um, at 6'9", and I always say he's not athletic, but he fights hard, he, he works hard. Um, you look at his stat line tonight, 20, point, 20 rebounds and just two points. You know, how many guys do you know that's at this level that's going to keep playing as hard as he does without scoring the basketball? You know, a lot of guys um, often worry about scoring versus what he does. And then this young fellow to my right here, Isaiah Swope, um, all-league player, and I think his future is very bright. I hope he has a better taste in his mouth after tonight, and I hope he's going to get back in the gym in the next few days and, and start prepping for next year because we're going to build our team around Isaiah Swope. Um, he's learning. You know, he's only a sophomore. You know, I know he makes mistakes. I'm always in his ear chirping about some things, but the thing about I like about him is he's a sponge and he listens. Um, so no, to answer your question, I know I'm long-winded. I'm not happy with um, um, our, our team and, our, and what we did this year. I think we could have done a whole lot more. We had a chance a couple times to beat Moorhead State, lost in the close battle. I think in two games, it was a total of 10, 12 points we lost by. Um, and then Tennessee Tech, 
they got us pretty good at their place, but we, we, we lost a few close ones. And I just think for our team, for us to come into this league the first year, um, a lot of experience is needed. And, and there's, there's so much experience in this league. And we, we got some great experience this year, and I'm just really looking forward to our future here. Um, really well. Uh, he's one of our defensive leaders. Um, you know, very vocal, energy guy. Um, outside of scoring, we got a lot of people that look up, look up to him on the team. You know, uh, praying for him and his family whenever he went down. But we know he's strong, and and we're right behind him. Uh, like I said, so it felt real good for him to be back out there tonight uh, and give us that energy. And I, I didn't want to. I, I was. I didn't want to play Tyler. Um, he was cleared by two doctors, and I was very hesitant on, on playing him. But I needed some, some assurance from his parents um, that they were on board with it. And I spent about 45 minutes on the phone with his parents today just to make sure they was on board with him playing. And uh, once they gave me their blessings, um, I felt confident that he could go out and play. Um, I, what, I, what I saw last week or two weeks ago, it was – something I've never seen before in the court. And I won't go into detail, but um, as a coach, you, you you think about, in that situation, your own kid. And I knew if I was a parent, I don't know, I, I may have reacted different in terms of him playing, but at the same time, his parents gave us his blessings to play. And he was good for us tonight. You know, we, um, we missed his leadership. Uh, we missed his big smile on the court the past couple of games. His energy in practice, um, his ability to see things you know, from a different lens uh, on the bench, and then his ability to bring the next man up, you know, and uh, that, that's he's a pretty special guy, and um, you know he, he's graduated with a uh, master's degree, graduates rather with a master's degree in May, uh, has a year to play, but he wants to get back closer to New York. To, visit, to, to play closer to mom and dad, and we're going to honor that. You know, that was a conversation we had at the beginning of the year. So if you see him in the portal, nothing happened. We, we talked about it at the beginning of the season. And uh, I'm going to help him attain his goal of getting back closer to Brooklyn to, uh, to play in front of his family. Stan, do you think this is the end of the season? Are you leaving the door open for CBI or something like that? So <laughs> it's open. Um, we received an invite to the CBI already. Just telling my guys in the locker room, if we're going to do this, it, it costs a lot of money. But uh, I think our institution, well, I know our institution is behind us playing. But I, I need our guys all in. It's going to take uh, a different mindset um, if we take this trip. Um, so we're going to go back tonight as coaches, sit down and talk about it. And we're going to let the team decide if they want to do it or not. You know, we, uh, I'm a player's coach. And I let these guys make those decisions. I won't force them, or I won't take it away from them either. So, but it's we we received an invite. It's it's on us to to decide whether or not we want to go or not. And we're going to talk about it as a staff more tonight. I've already talked to my administration about my feelings about going, uh, but I want these guys um, to you know be honest about do they have more in the tank? You know our seniors. You know, Jacob is going to go play professional basketball next year. Uh, I think Jelani and Trevor will as well. And um, we we got to think about these guys and, and what they want. You know, it's their team. I'm just uh, blessed to coach them, and we, we'll talk about the team as a staff and figure it out. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just that I wasn't making shots. Um, you know, I, I thought I did a good job of getting in position to, to get the ball for the most part. And, um, you know, there was here and there, I was catching up too far off the block. They double teamed me. But um, at the end of the day, I just, I got the shots got to fall. Some nights they don't. And, you know, it's like Coach said, I, I can control how hard I play on the other end. But uh, you can't always control if you make shots. You can't always control what, what, what the, how the whistle goes, if you get calls, if you don't. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, they just weren't they weren't dropping, and you know, it's it's another reason to get back in the gym and get better. Gotcha. And what does your what do you think your future holds as of right now? 
Uh, you know, first I gotta I gotta finish my career here. Um, at the end of the day, that or I don't, you know, or I don't think I'm not ready to be done personally. Um, you know, I think I have a lot more to prove here in a in a USI jersey. I have a degree to earn, um, and it's you know at the end of the day, I I think we got a lot to prove. But you know, when it's all said and done, I want to keep playing after college. Um, you know, and where where that takes me, I don't know yet. But you know, if I'm blessed enough to have that opportunity, that's something I definitely want want to pursue.